So, uh, hey there, Rebus Forever here. It's been a little while since I uploaded. I've actually been quite busy being absolutely fucking terrified. I'm also slightly worried that this is going to come across as insensitive. Is it going to start being inappropriate to cover post-apocalypse games? That said, I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. One of my friends did a tarot reading for the country. I'm sure that'll be... Oh, oh, oh. Anywho, good luck everyone, and let's get on with this. Hey there, Rebus Forever here. And I have a power. What power? I hear you ask. The power of voodoo. I am instinctively compelled to reply. I would then quickly amend my reply to take the opening question more seriously. At which point, I reply, I have the power of time travel. Granted, only the power to travel through time in a linear fashion, and only forwards, but this unique set of skills enables me to remember. And a thing that I remember is Warzone 2100 the real Warzone. Warzone blew my mind back when I played it on the PS1. It was amongst the earliest of the 3D strategy games, including other beloved titles like Dungeon Keeper, Populous the Beginning, Jeff Wayne's War of the Worlds, and Homeworld. I played all of these games to completion multiple times. Interpret that how you please. I really, really enjoyed these games. All gems despite their limitations. You see, in the 90s we knew. We knew that the oceans would rise. We knew that the AI would eventually get tired of our nonsense. And we knew that being babies would become the only currency of value in the aftertimes. Our collective sense of the future rapidly approaching made us subconsciously and passively generate and gravitate towards media that would help us prepare for the inevitable tribulations of the far future date of 2001. For the new generation, a re-release of Warzone 2100 has come into being. Available on Steam, that brings higher resolutions and sharper looking textures than I remember the original having. But despite this, the game feels true to the original, for better or worse. Warzone 2100 is a 90s game. It is also an RTS, since EA had only just bought Westwood and was yet to directly and fully skull procreate Westwood Studios. That said, I am looking forward to the CNC remaster. But yeah, back to Warzone. The world done screwed itself, and I mean in the game, though also. I don't not mean the real world, but specifically regarding the game, it's a one part Skynet and one part ecological disaster situation with a sprinkle of Fallout setup, providing your faction with the narrative means to have survived the doom of mankind in general, whereupon you now take to the wasteland in glorious HD rather than whatever awful muck resolution the PS1 version I played put out. Warzone was a game very much ahead of its time, with notions such as expanding maps, hub bases from which you can supply your war effort by air support, Fully modular vehicle design, allowing for quick and varied designs for your chosen playtype, eventually including VTOL and hover technologies, with a very wide range of weapons and support modules. Visually, the maps and units show their age, unless aesthetically you're only interested in creating a mass of partially indecipherable green shapes. Graphics aside, one of the great things about Warzone is the switching between missions set in the ever-expanding main map on which your base is settled. From here you will launch missions further afield where you deploy units from your main base via drops. These raids into enemy territory are usually with the aim of raiding a faction and claiming their technology, and thus increasing the range of buildings and equipment and weapons for your vehicles. One of the main components I enjoyed about Warzone was the time management. Making use of all of the surplus time you spend in your home regions to fortify, then after a mission on another map coming back to your home base, and being able to fight a furious defense with your new tech against waves of opponents versus the defenses that you carefully laid out previously. Warzone had a really good rhythm to play. Aside from a few bugs I've encountered, the new remake does the game proud. At the super low price of free, it is an easy recommend for anyone who enjoys trying older games or else a fairly glorious experience for anyone with any lingering nostalgia for the game back in the day. This is a game that in my opinion is worth covering because I feel more people should have tried it, in much the same way as I'd recommend anyone ride in a classic car or a steam train, at least once if they appreciate their modern analogues. If you're a fan of modern strategy games, you should probably try this. Granted, unlike trains and cars, here one of your main opponents is the pathing algorithm. You should expect needing to show some patience and understanding whilst navigating their way around obstacles. The controls will feel a bit like opposite world to anyone that's used to more modern games, but these two faults are balanced out by the ability to remap the controls, though actually that won't fix the pathing. That's still gonna bug you. But to take the edge off of the pathing issues bugging you, there is some awesome music. I've always loved the music to this game. It was one of the first things I was reminded of when I relaunched the game. I just sat there and listened to it for about five minutes. The only reason this video turned into one of these blast from the past things, rather than a full-blown 
voraciously positive review is that in my campaign I had a bug that prevented me from making any more progress and I'd have had to start the campaign right from the start. If I had made more backup saves, that wouldn't have been an issue. So it's kind of kind of my fault, kind of the game's. But since it took me 10 hours to get as far as I did into the campaign, I needed to cut my losses with the game and uh, move on to something else. So yeah, if you do download the game for the price of free, as I previously pointed out, make sure you make plenty of saves. That said, this was Warzone 2100, I'm Rebus Forever, and this was a slice of my childhood. I hope you enjoyed, maybe. Thanks to my Patreons, uh, sorry for not uploading for a while. Perhaps more genuinely than I've ever said it before. Be well everyone, and good luck.